Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Leszek Schuster. I am delighted to be able, together with Ms. Joanna Klenczar Deodat, art historian, member of the jury of the 8th International Socio Political Poster Biennale, also coordinator of the recent sixth edition of the competition, together with Pavel Varhau, eminent artist. It was actually his idea to organize the first Biennale. I would like to welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, on this Friday evening. It is a special, unique situation for us in a time so difficult for us to be able to meet and on behalf of the main partner of this undertaking, the International Auschwitz Committee, I'd like to welcome, ladies and gentlemen, all participants of this meeting. But we are delighted we are able to meet you perhaps uh, in your places, in your homes, and to present to you our exhibition. I would like to present to you now the person without whom this Biennale would never occur, the curator of the international exhibition, Mr. Pavel Varhau. As usual, at this Biennale, we've got a broad spectrum of different uh, works that are making an attempt to describe our world. As the deadline was shifted, uh, we also had artists referring to the coronavirus crisis. So, very up to date uh, works of art presenting uh, or referring to different events of the recent few years. It is my great honor to ask Mr. Marian Turski to take the floor. We will establish soon a connection with Warsaw. I think there is no need to introduce to anyone Mr. Marian Turski. <coughs> Dear friends, <coughs> Dear participants of the 8th Biennale, there are many different ways in which the external world reaches the soul of the contemporary man. Some consider picture closer, more important, film, television. Others are more touched uh, by literature, non-fiction. I must admit that as far as I myself am concerned, for myself, for my awareness, for, for the condition of my soul, if I can put it like this, it's music. Music is most important for me, also poetry that has an influence on me and art. But when I speak about art, it's art, the type of art that is not too naturalistic not too literal, the type of art that is not direct, and this is the type of art that I feel touched upon by the most, the feelings, the ideas. This is the reason why posters, the art of posters that I've been interested for in for so many years, and especially here within this series of international socio-political poster biennales, the series that have been organized for many years by the International Youth Meeting Center in Oshvinchim. So this type of art is especially close to my heart. Dear participants of the 8th International Socio-Political Biennale, it's a very special year Unfortunately, the reason is the pandemic. Apart from normal, everyday conflicts, tensions, inequalities, those that are considered part of our everyday life, but additionally we've got uh, another element. Well, I would call it metaphysical, actually. It has been known, of course, over the history of uh, mankind when uh, we had uh, the plague that many times was a very serious problem for the whole humanity. And now people have come to realize how fragile our human life is. It is a big question mark for all of us, the one facing everybody. 
What is tomorrow going to bring us? This is the question we're asking ourselves. I think that you, ladies and gentlemen, participants of this Piennale, will be tackling this very problem. I'm very much interested in how you will deal with that. I would like to wish you success, much success, and I'm looking forward to finding out more about the results of this Biennale. Thank you very much. Now we are moving from Warsaw to Berlin, and I would like to ask the next speaker to take the floor, Mr. Christoph Heibner, Vice Chairman of the International Auschwitz Committee and Chairman of the Board of the Foundation for the International Youth Meeting Center. Many people, many institutions, including the International Youth Meeting Center, are in a very difficult uh, situation because of the pandemic. What is most important, I think, is that the pandemic was held, has been held this year. I'm delighted that so many artists have replied to the invitation of the International Youth Center, also with the participation of the uh, uh, International Auschwitz Committee, reacting against the current situation in the context of the pandemic, also the stupidity around uh, us. Now, as the next speaker, uh, the next speaker is going to be Mr. Holger Polit, the head of the regional office of the Rosa Luxemburg Foundation, Central and Eastern Europe in Warsaw. Thanks to the Biennale, artists from Poland and other countries have been helping us open our eyes to different threats to the democracy, to individual freedoms and international peace. The educational value of those activities is very high. This is a new universal message that can reach everybody. I would like to ask uh, Professor Władysław Pluta to present the uh, results of the jurors' deliberations. 147 artists from 11 countries participated in the competition. From 307 posters sent to us by artists, 80 were qualified for the exhibition. The jury awarded the following prizes. The first prize goes to Szymon Szymankiewicz from Poland for a poster entitled Loading. The second prize goes to Katarzyna Nachman, Poland, a poster entitled Dog and Cat. And the third prize goes to Vladimir Cesler from Belarus, His work is entitled COVID-19 Stay Home. Mayor of City of Oświęcim, City of Peace Prize goes to Nikos Tenzis from Greece for racism. The prize of the Starost of Oświęcim goes to Martina Paluhevich Wabai from Poland for summer 2020. City of Dachau Prize goes to Marlena Buczek Smith from Poland, United States for Fragile. District of Dachau Prize goes to Lex Drewinski from Poland and Germany for disinformation. The Anstifter Foundation Prize goes to Magdalena Wojcik, Poland, for Le Monde. Professor Josef Hollard Prize, founded by the rector of the University of Silesia in Katowice, goes to Katarzyna Nachman from Poland for captivity. The prize of the Rector of the Academy of Fine Arts in Krakow goes to Vladimir Sessler from Belarus for In Venus Veritas. The Rector of the Academy of Fine Arts in Katowice Prize goes to Yong Xiang Guo from China for Stop Talking Nonsense. The Chairman of the Association of Polish Artists and Designers Prize goes to Dominik Grug from Poland for Demokracja Polska, Polish democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, we will soon be able to see in the posters that have been mentioned uh, by the members of the jury. But before we uh, do that, I would like you to uh, present Isabella Walczybok from the Theater of Motion and Sound, accompanied by our proven friends Jacek Hołbowski, Piotr Skupniewicz and Mateusz Pliniewicz.
ladies and gentlemen. And now we would like to take a look at the art of posters with an expert eye. Our expert who is joining us is someone quite unique. From Dr. Maria Anna Potocka, director of the Mosak Museum of Contemporary Art in Krakow. The floor is yours. Posters are very interesting interventions into the general uh, life, life of the general public, the public sphere. The posters uh, convey some messages, uh, present comments outside trying to establish some contact with uh, people, with the general public, uh, people who are moving around different public spaces, come across posters. Biennale is even broader. It's about being critical about our everyday life, everyday thinking, how to see, how to notice the different important hot subjects surrounding us in a given period of time. I'm very much, I'm very fond of active education, indirect education that is less about um, spreading information but more about uh, creative inspiration. One can say that each biennale of this type is also a certain thermometer for the contemporary world. There is strong need to make one's voice heard to be able to present one's attitude to the surrounding world something that perhaps is uh, the reason for, for us why we get so tired, so angry, feeling so limited, closed off. I would like to invite you to a last meeting with Isabella Valchibok and the musicians. This time she will be presenting her interpretation of the uh, winners, winning posters of this Biennale, the three main statutory prizes in the interpretation of Isabella Valchibok. The award ceremony of our poster Biennale. The first award is going to be presented by the curator of the Biennale, Dr. Paweł Varho. The first prize goes to Mr. Szymon Szymonkiewicz for his poster Loading. Our messenger is uh, bringing to the winner our award envelope with a banknote with the right value. Let me give the floor now to the winner of the first prize, Mr. Szymankiewicz. The history of my loading poster, the history of the recent months in Poland, it starts and ends in Oświęcim. On the 27th of January 2019, on the anniversary of the liberation of the camp, where more than 1.3 million of Jews, Poles, Roma and representatives of other nations were killed, nationalists marched here, saying it's time to fight world Jewry and free Poland from it. Then I thought about a poster that I'm going to ask Dr. Michael Gross, Consul General of the Republic, uh, Federal Republic of Germany in Krakow. I am delighted to be able to inform you, ladies and gentlemen, that the second prize, the prize of the Consul General of the Federal Republic of Germany, goes to Katarzyna Nachmann for her poster, Dog and Cat. I would like to thank the jury for this very special distinction, the second prize in the Biennale for a young artist, young as I still consider myself young. This is something unique, a great honor for me. Thank you very much for that. And now we are moving to the third prize. The third prize will be presented by Mr. Andrzej Tombinski, the former honorary Consul General of uh, Austria, 
director of uh, also the director of Rebau. There was always much satisfaction involved. So the third prize this year has been presented to Mr. Vladimir Tsesler from Belarus. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to move on to the next prizes, those funded by different institutions. I am delighted now to give the floor to Mr. Janusz Hwierud, the mayor of the city of Oświęcim. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the prize of Oświęcim, city of peace, to present it to Mr. Nikos Terzis, who represents Greece. There's a strong message from, from a different European country, from Greece, which shows uh, this uh, international dimension of our Biennale. Racism is the title of uh, his poster. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me thank you for giving me this special distinction, special prize in this competition. The city of Oświęcim is very close to my heart because of my Polish friends, especially. I, I spoke to Mr. Terzis and he decided to present his award to our special uh, educational and training center in Oświęcim. Ladies and gentlemen, the next uh, funded prize is related to the work of the Starost, uh, the head of the county of Oświęcim, Mr. Nijela. I would like to especially uh, send my uh, best regards to Martina paluchewicz by her work Summit 2020 is the winner of the Starost of Oświęcim Prize. Excellent message with some humor showing uh, what summer of 2020 was like. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for this special distinction. I thank uh, the Starost of Oświęcim for his prize. I'm delighted. I'm very another country, Germany, the city of Dachau. I hope the connection is there. Mr. Florian Hartmann, the mayor of the city of Dachau, will be the next speaker who will present. The city of Dachau was delighted to be able to present yet again special prize of the city of Dachau. I would like to congratulate Marlena Buczek-Smith, the winner of our prize, for her work entitled Fragile. The links between Oświęcim and Dachau are close. Also, the cooperation between the, the counties, the powiat of Oświęcim and the county of Dachau, or district of Dachau, are very close. I would like to now give the floor to the next speaker, Mr. Stefan Livl, especially today when faced with the pandemic, we have to do even more. I'm delighted that we as representatives of Dachau County are able to present the prize to Mr. Lex Dravinsky. The district of the Hope Prize goes to Mr. Dravinsky. And now we are establishing connection to Stuttgart, Mr. Peter Groman, member of the jury, member of the Anstifter Foundation. He will present uh, the prize of his Anstifter Foundation. Our prize goes to Magdalena Wojcik, the world that looks like a lemon, squeezed out lemon. It looks like this is exactly what we're doing, squeezing out the resources of this world, populism, uh, other problems around the world. It's even more important for us, for artists, to fight for solidarity, for justice, for a better world, a different world. I wish to thank the jury. Thank you very much for appreciating my humor, perhaps black humor. And now I'd like to give the floor to Professor Andrzej Bednarczyk, Rector of the Fine Arts Academy in Krakow. The prize of the Jan Mateko Academy of Fine Arts in Krakow goes also to Mr. Vladimir Cesler from Belarus.
And now Katowice, another Polish city, and I am pleased to welcome the Rector of the Academy of Fine Arts in Katowice, Professor Grzegorz Heinderek. The prize of the Rector of the Academy of Fine Arts in Katowice goes to Yang Xiang Guo from China for Stop Talking Nonsense. We got Josef Howard uh, Prize awarded by the Rector of the University of Silesia and Katowice. Professor Richard Kozjałek goes to Katarzyna Nachman from Poland for her post and prisoner. And the award of the President of the Association of Polish Artists and Designers, uh, Dr. Janusz Janowski, goes to Mr. Dominik uh, Rug from Poland for his post uh, Polish democracy. I do hope that the post that we have decided to grant uh, award to, to the author, Mr. Janowski, Polish democracy, I think that it is related to, to very much to this message, the message uh, that everyone has the right to have their voice heard, also those that understand, see the world in a somewhat different way. I do hope that in the first quarter of 2021 it will be possible for you to visit us in our center and also to receive the catalog. We will be delighted to present it to you, ladies and gentlemen. But even if it were not to be possible and if you would like to receive the catalog to make it part of your libraries, please contact our institution. You can do it by phone, send us an email. We will be delighted to send this catalog to you, ladies and gentlemen.